So in this video, you will learn how to code every day and not feel tired. So I've seen quite a few coding YouTubers on here talking about how you should learn code by doing it every day and programming every single day. But what many of them forget to tell you is how to code every day. Because when I was learning to code, I would do it for four, five hours daily, which eventually led me to feeling very burnt out and hating programming itself. So this video is cut up into four different principles that you should apply into your life if you are looking to code daily. So the first principle is to focus on doing focused work rather than shallow work. So in Cal Newport's book, Deep Work, he talks about how focused work is much more productive and infinitely times better than shallow work. By this I mean rather than coding for five, six hours of shallow work, such as checking your phone throughout the coding session, talking to friends, checking on family, set a specific time daily to code in. Typically I code from around 6.30 to 8.30, then 9 to 11. This works for me, it could be different for you, find what works and apply it into your daily life. Don't exceed four hours daily because deep work is rather hard to accomplish. And if you've ever been into that deep state, you can only be there for so long until your mind just gets really tired. So limit it to one to four hours daily and really try to get as focused as possible in those four hours rather than the entire five or six hours that you may be doing now. So the next thing is to have a long-term view on your progression of coding. I made a recent video talking about this. I don't know if it's gonna be published yet or not. And it talks about how rather than thinking that you are gonna be a programming genius and make the next Uber in a day or two, understand that learning this skill takes time. And what this long-term thinking does to you is that it slows you down in the process of learning. One mistake I did, for example, was I tried to learn every aspect of JavaScript, Python, and, and try to get it done as fast as possible because I wanted to get it done with so I could start my business or make a product. Rather, that was the wrong way of thinking. It was short-term thinking when I should have been thinking long-term. So by long-term, I mean take your time, do the projects, slowly try not to finish everything in a day don't feel rushed to do so that's a better way of saying it and just work with the project until you understand it somehow and by having this long-term view on learning code it relaxes your mind and won't lead to burnout as a result of you doing the focused work and then taking your time with learning so this perfectly segues into our third principle you should accept that you won't be able to solve a problem right away a quite common mistake that new programmers like myself used to make is that we would try to solve problems syntax problems errors within one coding session and we wouldn't leave until we solved it yes there is benefit to that but it shouldn't be done all the time some problems won't be able to be solved like you may have to restart a project you may have to go back and change some syntax which could take hours and hours and doing so will lead you to being really tired it's so tiring to go through all your code again reading through it to make sure everything's right fixing it and it's just a huge waste of effort and focused work rather try to solve it within your focused work time and if you don't leave it be what i have found is that when i do do this and i take a break and stop fighting the errors and just accept that i won't be able to solve it today it just automatically solves it in my brain it's so weird now the fourth thing and honestly my favorite principle in this list is to do what interests you a lot of people make the mistake that by choosing the most lucrative field that they will make the most money in that field and though that may be true if you don't do something that interests you you're not going to do it every day and you won't progress as fast or better than someone that does find that interesting. So when I was starting to learn to code, I really wanted to do web design. That was something I actually wanted to do. I read in a book that it made someone a lot of money and it was just an interest of mine. Now, a year later, through that time and process of learning, I understand that that's not a field that I want to go into. I don't like designing websites. I just don't find that interesting. It's not my thing. Plus, it's never been an interest of mine. But as I stumbled upon machine learning, AI models, and just Python in general, it really grabbed my eye, which led me to 
going into that field and now I'm learning stuff in that field. So find what interests you. And this doesn't have to mean you pick a career right away. I mean, maybe one week you learn how machine learning works and then maybe the next week you might want to learn React or JavaScript. Do what suits your mind and do what suits your interest because that way you will learn as much as possible and you'll do it every day with a bunch of curiosity. And one more thing to note before you say, oh, you're not going to be learning as much if you switch things. For the most part, most programming language have the same principles. So Python and JavaScript are quite similar in the sense that they have for loops, they have if else statements. Yes, the languages are different, but in the end, if you're learning the principles, that's really what matters most. Anyways, guys, that was the video. If you like this, Please subscribe i have like 22 subscribers so your like and subscription would really go a long way and yeah guys um good luck with your programming journey leave a like again and let me know what you're doing like are you wanting to start a business are you wanting to get a job just let me know because i like meeting new people so yeah peace